In today's video, I'm going to explain how to find out the inverse jet transform using partial fractions. See here, the question is given that, so we have to find the inverse jet transform of z by z minus 1 into z minus 2. So here is the solution for this. So first of all, I'm considering this as capital F of z is equal to, this is z by z minus 1 into this is z minus 2. Now I'm bringing this z to the other side. So this will become f of z by z is equal to 1 by z minus 1 and next one z minus 2 and now we have to resolve into partial fractions so f of z by z can be written as so this is a by z minus 1 plus this is b by z minus 2 so keep this equation as equation 1 now we'll find out the values of a as well as b so, according to our uh, partial fractions, 1 by z minus 1 into z minus 2 can be written as a by z minus 1 plus again b by z minus 2. Now, see here, 1 by z minus 1 and next one into z minus 2. If I take LCM here, z minus 1 into z minus 2, this will be a into z minus 2 plus b times of z minus 1. Now I'll cancel these two and equate the 1 to the given equation. 1 is equal to a into z minus 2 plus b into this is z minus 1. Now in order to get the value of a, I have to make b as 0. For that I have to put, see here, I have to put z is equal to 1. So if I put z is equal to 1 here, so this is 1 minus 1 0 and this is so a into this is 1 minus 2. So a is equal to minus a and a value is equal to minus 1. So after getting a value now I have to find out the value of b. So for finding b value I have to make a 0. So I have to substitute z is equal to 2. So now keep z is equal to 2 in this equation. So this will become 1 is equal to, so this value is 0 plus b times of 2 minus 1. This is 2 minus 1. So 1 is equal to b and therefore b value is equal to 1. So after getting a and b values, now I'll substitute in equation 1. So what is our equation 1 here? According to the equation 1, f of z by z is equal to, see here, f of z by z is equal to r a value just now I found out this value is minus 1. So this value is minus 1 by z minus 1. So this value is see here z minus 1 plus what is a b value here? So b value here is 1. So if I substitute the value b as 1. So this will be 1 by z minus 2. Clear? So after resolving into partial fractions, now see what happens here. So f of z by z can be written as 1 by z minus 2 minus 1 by this is, sorry, this is z minus 1. So this value is z minus 1. So again, I'm sending this z to the other side. Therefore, f of z is equal to z times of z minus 2 minus z times of this is z minus 1 and now I have to apply inverse jet transforms on both sides. If I apply inverse jet, jet transforms on both sides then see here this will be z inverse of f of z is equal to this value is z inverse of z by z minus 2 minus z by this is z minus 1. Now our inverse jet transforms will be z inverse of z by z minus 2 minus z inverse of this is z by z minus 1. And see, we have a formula that is z inverse of z by z minus a. See here, z inverse of z by z minus a can be written as a power n. So, according to our special functions in z transforms, so we can write this as this is 2 power n and this value is 1 power, 1 power n. Therefore, our z inverse of 
So this is Z inverse of Z by Z minus 1 into Z minus 2 value is nothing but 2 power n minus 1 power n. So this is how we have to solve inverse Z transforms using partial fractions. So I have explained you how to resolve into partial fractions and how to get A and B value. And after getting A and B value again we have to substitute here in equation 1 and we have to apply Z inverse on both sides and after using this one. So after using this formula from the special functions of the Z transforms finally we got the result and this is how we have to solve and here again there is an another problem ready for you and here is so first of all we have to find out inverse jet transforms according to inverse jet transforms again we have to take this as capital f of z so here is the solution f of z from this i am taking z common that is z minus 3 by this is z plus 2 into this is z minus 5 and see now I am bringing this z to the other side so f of z by z can be written as this is z minus 3 by this is z plus 2 into this value is z minus 5 now I will resolve into partial fractions so this can be written as f of z by z can be written as a by this is z plus 2 plus b by this value is z minus 5 so and name it as equation 1. Now we have to resolve into partial fractions. See here this can be written as z minus 3 by this is z plus 2 and this value is z minus 5 as a by z plus 2 plus this value is b by z minus 5. I will find out the value of a and b and again I will substitute in equation 1. So z minus 3 by this value is z plus 2 into this value is z minus 5. If I take LCM here, this is z plus 2 into again z minus 5. This is a times of z minus 5 plus this value is b times of z plus 2. So I can cancel these denominators and what remains here? That is z minus 3 is equal to a into z minus 5 plus b into this is z plus 2. So if I make b 0, I will be getting the value of a. So for that, I have to put z is equal to, see here, if I put z is equal to minus 2, so b will be 0 and I will be getting the value of a. So this is minus 2 minus 3 is equal to a times of minus 2 minus 5. This is minus 5 is equal to minus 7 by a implies a is equal to this is 5 by 7. So I got the value of a as 5 by 7. And next, if I make b0, I got a value. So now I am going to make a0. So for that, I have to substitute. I have to put z as this is plus 5. If I keep plus 5 here in place of z. So this is 5 minus 3 is equal to b times of this is 5 plus 2 and this value is 2 is equal to this is 7b and therefore b value is equal to this is 2 by 7. Now substitute the values of see here substitute a and b in equation in equation 1. So we have equation 1 ready with a as see here a as 5 by 7 and b as this value is 2 by 7. Now, therefore, if I substitute the value as A as 5 by 7 and B as 2 by 7. Therefore, F of Z by Z is equal to. Therefore, F of Z by Z is equal to. What is our A value? This is 5 by 7. 5 by 7 by this value is a Z plus 2. And what is our B value? This is 2 by 7. So, this value is 2 by 7 by Z minus 5. Now see here f of z by z can be written as this is 5 by 7 times of 1 by z plus 2 plus this is 2 by 7 times of 1 by this is z minus 5. I am sending this z to other side. Therefore f of z is equal to this is 5 by 7 z by so this can be written as z minus of minus 2. See here. This is 2 by 7 times of, if I send z to other side, this will be z by 
z minus 5. Now I'll apply z inverse on both sides. So if I apply z inverse on both sides, I need z inverse. So see here, this is z inverse of f of z is equal to here also z inverse of f of z. Now z inverse of f of z value is nothing but this is 5 by 7 times of z by z minus of minus 2 plus this value is 2 by 7 times of z by this is z minus 5. So therefore z inverse of f of z value is equal to this is 5 by 7 times of z inverse of z by z minus of minus 2 plus 2 by 7 times of z inverse of z by z minus 5 and therefore we have according to our uh, special functions of uh, z transform we have z by z minus a is value is nothing but a power n so if i substitute the same thing same formula if i apply this will be 5 by 7 times of z by z minus a in place of a we have minus 2 so this is minus 2 power n and this is 2 by 7 times of in place of a we have 5 so this will be the final answer therefore z inverse of z square minus 3z by this value is z plus 2 into z minus 5 value is nothing but 5 by 7 times of minus 2 power n plus 2 by 7 times of 5 power n or else 1 by 7 times of 5 into minus 2 power n plus 2 into this value is 5 power n. So this is how we have to solve. Thank you so much for watching and staying till the end. So if you really like this video, pass it on to your friends and subscribe to this channel.